What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back. And you got it right, a Pokemon Sword and Shield Team Builder. I'm extremely excited because here on this, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday, Pokemon the Isle of Armor is coming out. Now, I was going to make a voting on my Instagram as to should I do a voting with Gigantamax Hatterene or Kingler. But instead of doing a voting, I'll save that for later. I already have the team built and everything. My my biggest thing is that I wanted to build one last team before the Isle of Armor comes out. So I decided to grab a Sil Valley, grab a lot of Pokemon that are from the Alola region. Of course, Sil Valley, Incineroar, Alolan Dug Trio, which I've never used before. I have been curious on using one, and Wishy Washy. I'll explain why Wishy Washy has two water type attacks here shortly, so don't judge me quite yet. Now, um, really quick, I'm not 100% sure if I should do some Isle of Armor gameplay on Wednesday or if that's going to be some kind of tutorial video or Pokemon Dungeon gameplay. I still haven't decided. My head's all over the place right now, um, but I'm really excited. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, without further ado, let me introduce the Pokemon we'll be using for these next couple of uh, battles, next couple of days. So... Starting from the bottom right and then going to the top left, we're going to go ahead and start. I got a wishy-washy, and I know what you guys are thinking. Um, Mac, you got two water type attacks on this wishy-washy. Why is that? Well, why is that? So, I really needed a special attacker in this team. As you can see, most of my Pokemon are physical attackers. Due to the fact that I needed a special attacker in this team, I decided to go with someone who had bulk and hits really hard. Wishy Washy has really good stats overall. It just lacks the speed. This Pokemon does really good in Trick Room teams. I'm not using a Trick Room team. I'm using it more for the bulk, hence the Assault Vest. 252 HP, 252 Special Attack, and the rest into the Special Defense. I'm running U-Turn, and it is modest nature, so U-Turn isn't gonna do a whole lot of damage, but U-Turn is there for Pivot. We have Three Pokemon that pivot, actually. Uh, no, two. We got Wishy Washy and the Incineroar. I was gonna put Galvantula as a pivot mon, but I decided not to, and I'll explain that shortly. But we got U turn for pivot, Ice Spoon for coverage. We got Scald and Hydro Pump. Let me tell you why. Hydro Pump is there because it's Wishy Washy's strongest attack when it comes to stab. Scald is there because if I wanna burn something, I'm just gonna click Scald and hope for the best. Now, I kind of messed up my, my Silvalli moveset. I'm going to have to change that for you guys here, and I'll, I'll get to that shortly. So we should have three pivoters. Silvalli should have U-turn. Now, into Galvantula. We got Galvantula, 252 speed, 252 special attack, and the rest into the special defense. Sticky Web is the name of the game. We've been using Sticky Web for... I think we used Sticky Web last week. Yeah, with Vickable. Sticky Web is the name of the game. We got Focus Sash, obviously, because we want to at least guarantee a Sticky Web to be set up. Bug Buzz for Stab, Thunderbolt for Stab, and in case I want to make something very slow, I got the Thunder Wave for that exact reason. Now, Incineroar is a little bit of an interesting moveset, in my opinion, because most Incineroars that you see have invested in the speed and invested in attack, while my Incineroar is invested, inv invested, uh, in what is, what is invested? What's invested? Someone tell me. We are invested in 252 HP, 252 attack, and the rest into the defensive slot. Trying to take advantage of that Intimidate and try to take advantage of bulk. I'm not really scared to be outsped, given that I have Sticky Web and the Thunder Wave on this team. So I'm not, I'm not really, really scared. But we're running U-turn for Pivot. Flare Blitz for coverage, uh, well, primary stab. Darkest Lariat, also primary stab. Um, and then close combat for coverage. Of course, there's these pesky Ferrothorn running around. I say that in every team builder. I'm prepared for that. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be an Alola Duck Trio. Alola Duck Trio is a little bit different than regular Duck Trio because obviously the typing, but also the ability. Now, I just realized I have to get an ability capsule for this Duck Trio. We're going to be trying to use a Tangling Hair Duck Trio. So what Tangling Hair does is that once you attack the Trio, the opposing Pokemon is going to get a... The speed is going to drop by one stage. So that's the biggest goal to that. Rocky Helmet, because we want to try to take advantage of, you know, the Trio's Tangling Hair and 
Of course, trying to get... This is more of a gimmicky set. It's not really bulky. I'm running 252 speed, 252 attack, uh, and the rest into the defensive slot. So there's nothing special about the Duck Trio other than trying to get some gimmicky stuff going with that. Now we got Stone Edge, Earthquake, Sucker Punch for some kind of priority, and Iron Head. Now, we got Dracovish. Dracovish really, really busted Pokemon, and it's Smogon, it got, it got bad to OU. I don't really follow Smogon rules, to be honest with you, but I will guarantee you that I do not use any legendaries that are straight up broken. Now, I believe that there's a counter to everything. Uh, you guys have seen me get swept by a Dracovish, and you guys also seen me take a Dracovish down. So, we're using Dracovish, Water Absorb, Choice Scarf, so nothing too new there. 252 speed, 252 attack, Iron Head, Dragon Rush, Psychic Fangs, and Fish's Rend, which is going to be a primary attack. And that Sil Valley should have U-turn instead of the Tri-Attack. I don't think I should have the x or either. I apologize for not being prepared. So we got 252 speed, 252 attack, and the rest of the defense. Now, I know you guys don't see this right now. I'm going to have to go back shortly. But we're using U-turn. Fire Fang for Ferrothorn coverage again, given that we're Fairy. Now, we got Zen Headbutt for coverage and Multi-Attack, which is going to be a 120 base attack for the Fairy type move. I know there's Play... No, Play Rough is 90, so there's not even Play Rough. But there you have it. This is going to be our team for the next couple battles. Probably the last team we have um, before the Isle of Armor, because I really, really, really want to build a team around Urshifu, so I'm really excited. Make sure you guys leave a like in the comment section down below. You let me guys know. Oh, I've completely butchered that. My head, again, is all over the place, but make sure you guys leave a like in the comment section down below. Make sure you let me know what your thoughts about this team are. If you're excited about Pokemon the Isle of Armor, uh, what you're looking forward to the most. Now, subscribe to my channel. We're going to have some pretty intense battles with, the, with uh, this team, and we've had some intense Wi-Fi battles in the past. So you're not going to want to miss any. You're not going to be want to miss any of those battles. I don't know why I can't talk, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.